What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. I know that kind of sounded like Peter McKinnon. The guy's just really good. Super excited about today. Today is the first day that I bring you my new segment, A Tip in Street Photography. If you didn't know that, then please go ahead and subscribe down below so you can be familiar with all future updates. We talked about this in the last video. But in all serious, guys, please, please subscribe. A Tip in Street Photography is a tip in street photography. It's exactly what it sounds like every week on Wednesday. I'm going to be bringing you a new video. Now I know a few of you are like Keenan, it's Thursday. Well, yes, I know. We're getting a bad start to the new year. Honestly, I recorded this a few days ago, but I've been recording it 4K, thumbs up for 4K. And when I looked at this video and I was chopping it up, I had like this little straw of hair and some hair sticking up and I just couldn't stop staring at it. So I put on the same clothes, put a hat on this time to make sure that didn't happen and we'll be recording for you. So. Yeah, shout out to me for being efficient and making this happen. Today's tip is extremely simple. I wanted to make sure the first tip uh, starting to this segment didn't cost you any money or you didn't have to sacrifice any time. All I'm asking you to do is to make a shift in your mental. Every day when you go out, I want you to shoot like a tourist. By that, I mean I want you to shoot like you're on vacation. I don't need you to actually be on vacation, but I want you to shoot like you're on one. Now, I know some of you are like, vacation? What does that mean? Why is that important? Think about the last time you were on vacation. How many pictures did you take? What did you take pictures of? Were you afraid? Probably not, because you paid money to be in that place, you were new to that place, and you were excited. When we're home, in our own town, in our own backyard, we don't have that same mentality. We're afraid of consequences. We don't explore. We take the same route and expect totally different results. Sometimes you don't even go out and take photographs because you're telling yourself that you can do it tomorrow. If you're on vacation, if you're a tourist, you can't do that. You got 48, 72 hours. If you're rich, maybe a week. You go out there and you take photographs every day. You don't care if Cindy and Mike are upset. You don't care if Cindy and Mike are in your frame. You're a tourist and to you, it's okay. It gives you validation. It helps you feel comfortable and your mindset changes. I know in 2015, when I took my first trip to Chicago, all fear went away. I spent $200 to get there. That was a shit ton of money to me. And I photographed for legit 30 hours, night and day, up and down the street. I've never walked so much in my life. I remember my second day there, I really wanted some coffee. But because I was in Chicago, and I was new there, I couldn't just go to like any coffee shop. I couldn't go to Starbucks. I wanted to go to that super dope coffee shop that only cool people went to. When I'm in Detroit, I never look up coffee shops. I'm never looking for new places to go. Why do we think like that? It makes no sense to me. There's so much to visit in every city. I know like you probably hate where you live at now, but somebody like me would kill to go there. You have to be excited about your city. You have to be excited about the people in your city. Keep that mentality, make that mental shift. And again, let's just start taking better photographs together. I hope you guys enjoyed this tip. This is a lot harder to like convey than I thought it was. Let me know how I did down below in the comments. I'll catch you guys with another video soon and a new tip next Wednesday. Peace.